Every one of you are terrorists. I don't care what you say. Last night in Philadelphia, a separate people get to them from the outside of us. And there was a message you'd like to go on. Do you feel it? Feel the chill in the air all around? Can you hear it? The screams of the mothers whose babies have fallen to the very ones that were supposed to protect them. The silence of those afraid to speak their mind for fear of being labeled a terrorist. Can you see it? The dominant Eurocentric media that so entertains us. The political campaign of our future protests. There is a pandemic amongst us. Calling it a disease does it no justice, it is a plague, bluntly put, no prejudice. A plague that plagues our heart and mind, it touches and taints everyone it finds. No one is safe from the plague that turns love into hate. Sad to imagine, but it's so commonplace that everyone can relate. Ladies and gentlemen, racism is ignorance. Writer Francis Wright once said that equality is the soul of liberty. There is in fact no liberty without it. And to that I think, why do we still claim to live in the land of liberty? Look around, where is the equality? For the Middle Easterners who dread the random extended searches at TSA. For the blacks who fear getting stopped and shot for walking with a hoodie. For the Asians who are all labeled as Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, when there are 48 different countries in Asia. For the lack of Latino, black, and Asian representation in our media. And for the whites who seem to take the blame for everything, where is our equality? Yes, I say are because we are not black, Latino, white, or any other ethnicity. We are all of them, and we are human. Because you see, in the 21st century where over 3 billion people have access to the internet to create, to share, and to develop ideas, one word cannot describe all of us, let us not forget. We are a melting pot of cultures. We are a little bit of everything. So why should one color, the color of our skin, determine who we are and how we're treated when our souls are the embodiment of the melting pot around us. We are colorful, not colorblind, yet racism is still a propensity. Need more clarity? Look, if Snow White represented babies, then the witch would represent our society. The poisonous plague that threatens to taint their purity. Babies are born to love, but thanks to society that love turns to ignorance, and ignorance to bigotry. Remember that consciousness is power. Yuri Kuchiyama, R.I.P. It's up to those who are aware to reteach to others that the judgment of character does not depend on the color of one's skin, but the color of one's heart. Open our eyes to the problem, we all have a pair. Speak up to the injustice, we all have a voice. Welcome neighbors with open arms, we all have two of them. And accept everyone with an open heart, we all have the ability to love. No matter how far we seem to be apart, because when it comes down to it, we are the same. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the cure to the plague. As mankind always does, we cannot go back to what was, but recover and build towards what will be. This is but a chapter in our book titled History. Written with all our names, we each have a role, and as one of the society, we must fight back against the plague. The plague that killed humanity.